Hello friends, I'm Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the Maclaurin series problem of square root of 1 plus cosine 2x using the equations in the top right hand corner. The equations at the top right hand corner tells us that a function of x can be expressed as an infinite series whereby my f0 represents the function evaluated at x is equal to 0. f prime 0 is the function differentiated once and evaluated at x is equal to 0. And then we have f double prime 0 is the function differentiated twice and evaluated at x equals to 0. Today we are going to express this function as a Maclaurin series up to and including the x squared term. To first solve the problem, we first have to define my function of x. So my function of x would be uh, the square root of 1 plus cosine 2x. And next we differentiate the function once and we get uh, the following which is half 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative half. We differentiate the internal part, we get negative sine 2x times 2. All right. So half times 2 gives me 1 and next we simplify f prime x we get the following which is negative of sine 2x 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative half. After which we will proceed on to find y is f double prime x to find y's f double prime x, we will need to use the product rule of differentiation whereby first we differentiate in this manner and then we add 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative half, we differentiate negative sine 2x. And we proceed on to differentiate the first term, which is this one. The differentiation of 1 plus 2x to the power of negative half is negative half 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative 3 over 2. We differentiate 1 plus cosine 2x, we get uh, negative 2 sine 2x. As for the second term, we first write down 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative half. Then we differentiate negative sine 2x, we get negative 2 cosine 2x. We now simplify the whole problem to make the equation much more simple. We get the following which is negative half times negative 2 gives me 1. So we can simplify in this manner. And what we got is we got negative sine 2x times sine 2x, we have negative sine 2x holding square. We have uh, 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative 3 over 2 plus, or should I say minus 2 cosine 2x, 1 plus cosine 2x to the power of negative half. Next, we can now evaluate why is my f0, that means the function evaluated at x is equal to 0. So what do we have here? Is we just substitute x equals to 0 into my fx. So f0 is just basically the square root of 1 plus cosine 2x, cosine 2x, when x is equal to 0 is just 1. So we got square root of 2. Let's look at f prime 0, substituting x equals to 0 into f prime x. For the first term, it's just 0, so anything times 0 gives me 0. How about f double prime 0? So basically substituting x equals to 0 into f prime x. As for the first term, it's just basically 0, because my sine 2x is 0 when x is equal to 0. And then for the second term itself, this is 1. Cosine 0 is always equal to 1, and then we also have here cosine 2x is also equal to 1. So this is actually square root of uh, 2, but it's at the uh, denominator. So we have negative 2 over square root of 2, which is just basically negative square root of 2. 
Once we have f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, we can use this formula to find our Maclaurin series of square root of 1 plus cosine 2x. So the Maclaurin series of square root of 1 plus cosine 2x up to the x squared term would be f0 is square root of 2 plus f prime 0 is 0 plus f double prime 0 is basically just negative square root 2 over 2 factorial x squared. And this will be our final answer to the Maclaurin series of 1 plus cosine 2x which is square root of 2 subtracting away square root of 2 over 2x squared. If you guys like the solution, I'll be press the thumbs up icon below this video. Do consider to subscribe to this channel for more Macaulay series problems. I'm Bob. Thank you guys for your support and watch. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.